That's right, guys. Iron Studios just revealed five brand new X-Men statues for their X-Men vs. Sentinel diorama series. What's going on, everybody? Jim Min here. Like I said, Iron Studios just dropped the bomb. Five brand new X-Men pieces. I'm going to share them with you today with pictures. Before we get started, though, if you're enjoying the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We are giving away a Deja Thoris premium format statue by Sideshow once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 150k. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you more details on that. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first one I'm going to talk about is one that they put up for pre-order already. I believe it just retails $150 and we're talking magic, Ileana Rasputin, the sister of Colossus and a beast in her own right. This piece looks awesome. Not only do you have her wielding dual swords, you have her on a sentinel hand base with some translucent resin showcasing her ability to travel through portals. And she looks great. The first picture is a Photoshop picture with the burning school in the background. But we have some other shots here as well. This one is a nice blue background here where you can see the statue without edits. I love everything that they got going on here. You have the nice texture on the thighs. She's got that big belt buckle, the black leather with the red X on her shoulders. I think the swords look awesome. I love the design and the soul sword. I like the kind of white in the middle that goes to yellow on the outside, the detail in the middle of the blade. It looks super cool, man. The rest of the pictures here are in studio with black backgrounds. You can see the translucent resin. You have some dirt and moss at the bottom, some rocks, and like I said, that blue sentinel hand, which goes with the other dioramas and the theme with the other proximity pieces as well. You can see a picture from the back here. Nice dynamic movement to it. I like the cracked columns on the bottom as well. Here we have from another angle here, and it looks like they use that same rust effect in the sentinel hand that they used for the big dial, so I like to see that consistency there. This last picture from the side, you can see the movement and the hair as she's either jumping in or jumping out of that portal. I guess she will be coming out of limbo to help the rest of the X-Men fight off the sentinels. And a big close-up on the base here. I like it when they play with different materials. Uh, we'll see that in some of the other pieces, but the translucent resin, you can see her foot is kind of still inside of the portal. So uh, a lot of great detail there. Belt buckles on the boots. And a character that we definitely needed. I actually made a video talking about characters I would like to see them make, and this was one of them. Um, there is another one on this list that I said they should make, and we'll jump into that now with Havoc. So they did Scott Summer's baby brother. And, you know, I like it as a proximity piece. Some of the things look a little bit off to me. Um, I, I appreciate the fact they're using translucent resin and showcasing his mutant powers out of his left hand, kind of creating that whirlwind of energy. I like the translucent resin more on his right hand that's towards his back, where it's kind of just like the power emitting from his hand. I don't know if I'm really digging the whirlwind. I like the hair. I like the screaming face. That expression is good. I like the gambit type of helmet that he's wearing. Uh, I'm not really digging the costume as much, but I guess it goes more with the rest of the line with that blue and uh, that blue and yellow color. I might have liked the, the black and white better, and I don't know if I like the quilted pattern on his jacket either, but um, he's matching his brother. Also has a sentinel hand on the ground there as well. You can see it's severed off, kind of glowing red with heat, so that looks cool. Uh, similar type of floorboards like we've seen in other pieces, but... Hey, we asked for Havoc, or at least I did, and they delivered, so super cool to see them uh, come through. Now, the next three on the list, I'm surprised they made. I didn't have them on my list because I would have sworn we would have saw Apocalypse, Mr. Sinister, characters like that before these guys. But before we jump into them, a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variant covers with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. They have this beautiful Mystique cover, which you can save 10% off of by using the code GEMMINT at checkout. That code works every time you shop there, just like with their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com. They have $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value. One of those lucky boxes is going to include their GP, their giveaway prize, which is this amazing Spider-Man 300 CGC 9.4, the first full appearance of Venom. Use that same code GEMMINT to save 10% every time you buy a box there. This round with the current GP ends on September 1st. All right, so first up, we're going to talk about 
the pterodactyl from the savage land soar on himself i was ecstatic when i saw this guy i always thought this was an awesome character design grew up loving dinosaurs i love the fact that sauron has that look but he's got some intellect as well and some telepathic powers the wingspan is impressive i like how he's floating in air by keying in near his ankle there uh, I'm not really sure what's going on on the base there. It looks like broken columns from the school, and I guess it's a piece of destroyed sentinel behind him. I like how he's got that tattered cloth for the pants. He's got his belt with his little pouches there. Uh, but his anatomy looks cool. I love his beak with those teeth and his tongue. The colors with the greens and the pinks and the purples on this statue look awesome. You can see the scale texture on his legs, the leather-like texture on his wings. This one is... A piece that I'm really excited for. Hopefully we get more Savage Land stuff. Alright guys, next up. This was one that I wouldn't have even dared put on the list thinking there's no way they're going to make her. Man, they came through with Spiral from the Mojoverse. The six-arm assassin dueling what looks like six blades. I only have the one picture. Standing on top of a column base. It looks like it has some trees on it or maybe some... Uh... Yeah, it looks like some greenery there. Uh, so maybe more on the outside of the school. You can see the textures on her calves with that type of fur design. She's pretty dynamic as well, balancing on just her toes on her left foot. Right foot is cocked up. She has those six arms like I mentioned. Costume design looks great. I like the samurai type of helmet she's got going on with her ponytail in the back. Uh, excited. Blown away that they did this one. But if they made Spiral, you know they had to come through and make Mojo. Now this one... I've been saying we need a quarter scale mojo for the longest. I think the last time we've ever even had one was a Bowen statue. This one is super creepy with that robotic spider bottom half that he has, that big scorpion tail coming up from behind him. His disgusting fat self with that green brown type of paint job. It looks like this is going to be a wider piece as well looking at the base, so maybe more akin to like the blob or even maybe Omega Red. Super cool that they got this guy, and it's like, man, with the Mojoverse joining the party here, like, literally everyone from the X-Men universe is going to be a part of this diorama. He looks sinister. He's got his crazy face. He's got those sharp claws on his hands. And just a, a, a menacing piece. The stuff that nightmares are made out of. And that's the five reveals from Iron Studios. I'm super excited. If Iron Studios could make now a Galactus vs. Fantastic Four and Silver Surfer diorama, bro. Even if you broke Galactus up into pieces and did Fantastic Four and Avengers vs. Galactus, that would be amazing. You could have all the Heralds from Fire Lord to Nova to Silver Surfer. Make it happen, Iron Studios. But until then, I'm happy receiving these proximity pieces. At the time this video drops tomorrow, I'll be releasing the video for the Emma Frost proximity piece. They still have a ton that are uh, available for pre-order that have not shipped yet. So... Exciting times to be an X-Men fan. I can't wait to set up my new display and get all these guys uh, in all of their glory as they should be. Let me know what you think about the five reveals in the comments down below. Like I said, we're doing a big giveaway once we hit our next subscriber milestone of 150k. And we're giving away the Deja Thoris Premium Format by Sideshow. All you gotta do is be subscribed, leave a like, and comment below. Once we reach the milestone, we'll go live, pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway, and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. So you're going to want to comment on as many videos as possible. That's all I got for you guys today. Make sure to check out my statue unboxing and reviews in the playlist to the right. And stay minty fresh. Peace.